Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make red velvet whoopie pies with a cream cheese filling. So first, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 190 degrees Celsius. And then just line two baking sheets with parchment paper or you could just um, butter them or lightly spray them with a nonstick vegetable spray. And the first thing we need to do is sift the dry ingredients together. So what I have is two and a quarter cups, that's 295 grams of white all-purpose flour. A quarter of a cup, 30 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder. You can use either the regular or I'm using the Dutch processed cocoa powder. And uh, half a teaspoon of baking uh, soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then just sift those. This gets rid of all the lumps, especially in the cocoa powder. And make sure everything's mixed together well. Okay. And put that aside. And then have ready three quarters of a cup, that's 180 milliliters of buttermilk. And what I've added is one tablespoon of this red liquid dye. You can just buy it in little bottles on the baking aisle and just stir that in. I put this on a piece of a paper towel because this stuff is a bright red and it will stain. So be careful when you're using it. Okay, so that's that. And then if you uh, have a stand mixer like this, use the paddle attachment or you could just do it by hand with an electric mixer. We need um, three quarters of a cup, it's 170 uh, grams of butter. Have it at room temperature. And, well, I like to use unsalted. If you prefer, you can use the salted. And I'm just going to um, beat that until it's creamy. Next, add one cup, that's 200 grams of just granulated white sugar. And then beat it till it's light and fluffy, a couple minutes. Just scrape down the sides if you need to and add one large egg at room temperature and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Try to use a pure, it's better tasting than the artificial and just keep that until it's incorporated. Now we're going to um, Add the dry ingredients alternately with the uh, buttermilk. So I'm just going to add about a, a third of the flour mixture, then half of the, the buttermilk, and then so on until it's all. And just beat until it's mixed in and then, then add the liquid. Now be careful with this, as I said, because that's red food coloring. You don't want it splashing up. Get on your clothes. You'll have red clothes. So. Mm.
And then just half the flour here. See, this is really turning red. to the flour. all this out of the way and I can see this is a really bright red. Now I have made this with both Dutch processed cocoa powder as well as regular unsweetened and the color red you get will depend on the type of cocoa powder. So if yours is a little different color than mine, then you'll know why. Now, uh, we're going to um, put about a tablespoon of uh, batter. And I'm using an ice cream scoop. That way I can get uh, equal size for every cookie. There's also, you can also buy a whoopie pie pan. If you want to do that. That way you really make sure that each one is the same size. But ice cream scoop does the same thing. So just space them a couple uh, inches apart, about five centimeters, because these will spread. And then just have a bowl of water, and then just with your fingers, don't get too much water. Just, if there's any little peaks to the cookies, just with your finger, smooth those out. Okay, into the oven for about 9 to 11 minutes or until they're springy to the touch when you top, uh, press the tops. So our whoopie pies are now done. So just let them cool for a few minutes and then transfer, transfer them to a uh, wire rack to finish cooling. And then what I'm going to do is bake off the other uh, whoopie pies and once these are all cool, then we'll make the cream cheese filling. So now we'll make our cream cheese filling. Start with a half a cup, that's 113 grams of butter at room temperature and you can use either salted or unsalted. And I'm just going to beat this until it's creamy and smooth. And now just, um, what's that? 
Add eight ounces, that's about 230 grams of cream cheese and have that at room temperature as well. And then just beat those two together until everything's nice, creamy and smooth. Scrape down the sides if you need to. Just add now um, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and just beat that in. Now the final ingredient is confectioner sugar, or you may know it as powdered or icing. We need three cups, that's about 350 grams, and make sure it's sifted because you want to get rid of all the lumps. So I'm going to add all of it and then keep your mixer at low speed until it's all mixed in because you don't want it flying up on you. Okay, and that's it. You may notice this is a little more yellowy and that's from the butter, the color of the butter I used. So depending on what brand, that will affect the color of your uh, filling. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We could use a, a little ice cream scoop and just take some filling. And you can take as much or as little as you want and then just put it into the center. That would be a generous one. And then just take another whoopie pie and just kind of squash it together. Be gentle, you don't want to... Or, I mean, if you don't have an ice cream scoop, just... This is the way I usually do it, just for home. Just put a dab in the center. And just... And there you have a little red velvet whoopie pie. Now, I often like to dress these up a little. So take some of your, you don't need that much, maybe a quarter of a cup. And then this is pretty thick, so I'm just going to add, because I want to put little squiggles on the top of the uh, whoopie pie, so I'm going to thin it out. It's a little thick to pipe with a little cream. Just thin enough so I can pipe it out. So you can just use any type of milk even or a light cream, half and half. Just get it nice and soft. Let's play with it a bit. And then you can buy these uh, disposable type plastic pastry bags, which are really nice to use. Or you could just use a, um, like just a regular plastic bag. Just uh, put in there. It's also those parchment cones. If you have those, you can use. These are nice because you could just wash them out once you finish with them. I'll just press it all down, the air out of the bag. And then just 
take a pair of kitchen scissors and just cut a little the end off. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back and forth. Makes a nice uh, presentation. So there we have it. Red Velvet Wolfie Pies. You can cover and store these in the refrigerator for several days. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. <music>